Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your How Do They Feel About You Love Tarot. I do want to remind you this is a general reading, but I do hope it is uh, applicable to you and your special person, whether you are dating, whether you're married, whether you're not in contact with this person anymore. I hope there is something here insightful for you about the current energies around your love situation and or connection. So if you enjoy this reading, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's jump into it, Libra, and see what three cards come up in regards to how this person is feeling about you, what they're thinking about, what they're feeling about you and your connection together. Okay, let's start off with the Two of Swords. This is a lot of confusion. I often associate this card with an ultimatum card. It's either goes one way or the other. So it could be that someone might be placing an ultimatum upon you, uh, or it could be that they're feeling somewhat confused over an ultimatum or a choice that you've given to them. It's also someone going into something quite blindly. So for a lot of you, there could be someone here who's thinking about ending or temporarily ending or permanently ending communication or is trying to block thinking about you. Now, I think this might be for those who have undergone some sort of argument or uh, uncertainty about contact. It could be someone, if you, if you haven't heard from this person, it could be someone who's currently in two minds about reaching out to you or not. So they might be juggling between the thought of reaching out and connecting unblocking you for example some of you may notice around this period your special person might be unblocking you on emails social media uh, phone numbers or there is something about an ultimatum or a shift but it's indecisiveness and the moon present in the foreground indicates anxiety or the subconscious and it could be that someone's feeling a lot of that sort of energy here which is further uh, reiterated by the ocean of water okay the pool of water that sits behind this woman so i feel that there's someone and um, it's like they're emotionally flat okay the water is very calm and the, the grays in these cards they're very it's a very somber uh color and it could be that someone's feeling a little bit emotionally flat about your situation, especially if you haven't been in contact or if you've even done the blocking here, Libra. So if you've been the one that's said no to the communication or said no to a reunion of some kind, it could be that someone is feeling emotionally flat because of some of those reasons here. So that's obviously not going to apply to every Libran watching, but for some of you that could most certainly be the case here. Now the Ace of Wands is here and I do very much enjoy when Aces show up in readings for they often indicate new beginnings, new chapters, especially when it's the Ace of Wands. This is a very upbeat, exhilarating, opportunistic time here. So there is someone who's feeling a lot of excitement. It is the hand of God that holds the wand that has the sprouting leaves off it. And this Ace often indicates a lot of opportunity lies ahead or it's time for you to make the most of what you're given. There could be someone here who's trying to make the most of spending time with you or getting to know you. And for a lot of you, this is a very positive sign because it shows someone who's very interested. It shows someone who's very immersed and someone who wants to get things going because the Ace of Wands is about implementing a plan of action, a plan of attack and following that in the physical realm. Now, this could be more so the case if you're directly dealing with a fire sign. So in Aries, a Sagittarius or Leo, because they do represent ones. So that might be more specific, I suppose, for those dealing with a fire sign, but not necessarily Libra. I think for some of you out there with the Ace of Wands, there is someone very hopeful of a new beginning or holding a relationship with you. Um, it's either they see it's an opportunistic time. So some of you, for example, if you're if you've made it clear to someone that you like that you're single, um, some of you might be recently single from a previous relationship and there might be someone else coming in um, wanting love. But it's something about they see opportunity in you. 
The Ace of Wands can also be like a phallic symbol here. Wands can represent lust, uh, lust pass, uh, passion, sexuality. So there could be someone who, who is very, very attracted, uh, very infatuated with you. Um, there's lust and infatuation often associated with this Ace. So there could be someone here who's very excited or gets very buzzed when they're near you. But there's something about opportunity. Now, the Ace of Wands is also seen as a bit daring and a bit bold. So, Libra, some of you might notice that someone's being maybe more sexually forward than usual. Maybe someone's suggesting things. Maybe someone is acting overconfident even. Uh, but you might see some of this type of behavior coming directly from this person or this person exhibiting this sort of behavior towards your connection. But it is an opportunistic time to get things going or set some sort of pace in motion. And someone is feeling maybe that the pacing is increased between the two of you and whatever that is. I say increased because fire is there's an intensity with fire or someone feels like emotions or lust and passion has intensified between yourself and this person. They also have the Three of Cups coming up. Now, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. We see a union here. We see um, communication. It's, it's a very harmonious card. Cups do point to water signs, so this can be coming from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But with the Three of Cups, it can also symbolize not only coming from a, a water sign, the Three of Cups can also symbolize that third party dynamic. Not really, though, I would say that's more the Three of Swords, but look, still, you know, Three's a crowd, and then that Two of Swords is here. So, Libra, there could be someone here who's feeling like they're just one of your options. And maybe the Ace of Wands is them needing to strike and get your attention and be very memorable, be impressionable. Uh, and maybe they're going to do that uh, with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a very friendly card, so it could be someone wanting to come out, excuse me, of the friend zone, so to speak. So it could be someone that um, might be making the most of their opportunity. They're no longer going to be blinded or disregarded by you, and they might be coming forward here, and this is when they're going to do it around this time, potentially. But it can definitely symbolize celebrating love and being at a very happy place. It can also be someone who feels very connected to you that they want to introduce you to friends family members, their social circle, their family sphere, their work, uh, their colleagues even. Uh, and this is a good sign. This shows that they're establishing trust and they want the approval of the important people around them, uh, whoever that may be. So suddenly this, this is quite influential or you are being quite an influential presence for them. But I'm going to go back to that Two of Swords uh, paired with that Three of Cups. It most certainly could indicate that someone is very much feeling like they're just an option or there is some sort of block. It could be that someone is trying to get through to you and they feel like they can't, whatever that means, uh, whether you've blocked them, uh, whether they keep repeating a message to you, whether they want something, um, and they could be quite forceful or pushing on that uh, on you here Libra that could also be the case but it could be someone if she protects her heart here with the swords over her chest so there could be someone here who's trying to protect themselves maybe they're trying to keep the pacing slower and more in the friend zone for some of you that could also be the case. Someone who's just trying to just be in the present and enjoy each moment, but enjoy companionship more than jumping into anything else. So, And, and I think the reasons uh, that have come up in the cards would indicate to me that they are trying to protect themselves, their ego, their heart, their soul. Maybe something has happened before, okay, either in your connection or in a previous connection that has made them feel like they need to protect themselves. I will leave your reading at that though, Libra. Thank you again for tuning in. It's very much appreciated uh, and hopefully we shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.